Now with that second injector leaking, I think what we're going to do is disconnect the fuel lines for the number one and number two cylinder and then reposition them and make sure that I haven't uh, accidentally tweaked them a little bit when tightening them. I think that by tightening one up at the fuel pump with having the hard line going to the top injector a little bit off center that uh, when I tighten the top one it's pulling that hard line down in just at a little bit of an angle and not allowing it to sit uh, completely 90 degrees and flush in with the injector causing that small leak. The first thing we need to do is undo these two clips on the hard lines and then we'll disconnect and remove this first injector line for the first cylinder. What that's going to allow us to do is gain access to this nut here on the hard line for injector number two. And unfortunately you can't access that without removing the first injector line. We can now disconnect the number one injector at the pump. And we want to make sure that this bottom nut does not move. That does affect the timing of the pump. So a 19 millimeter wrench on that and a 17 on the top. Now we can remove the hard line at injector one using a 17 millimeter wrench. And with both sides now completely loosened, we can remove the entire injector line and set it aside. We can now go back to the pump and remove the second injector to keep the nut for moving on the pump itself. We'll just use a screwdriver to keep that in place because you can't get a wrench on it. And we'll undo the injector line. We can now loosen the line at the engine for the second injector. And now we're going to tighten them back up, but just making sure that we've got both in line as best we can, so that there isn't any stress on the line on either side, either at the injector or at the pump. I'm just wiggling the line a little bit and tightening it up at the pump and at the injector at the same time make sure I've got both as straight as possible. That's looking pretty good. So we'll tighten the injector up at the engine. And now we can install a hard line for injector number one again. And lastly, we can reinstall the spacers for the hard lines. Now to bleed the lines, what we're going to do is just crack the line here a little bit. And we'll crank over the engine. Tighten these bears back up. And with any luck, we'll fire it up and we will not have any more leaking. able to reposition the fuel line and get that lined up a little bit better and fix the leak. Now the same thing would apply for pretty much any engine that has a hard line going to its injector and you know you just have to make sure that when you are reinstalling them you don't like do like what I did originally and get them a little bit out of alignment. Overall this is a pretty easy fix and only took about 20 minutes to do.
Now I've got two other videos on the Bobcat. I've got a longer video where I'm doing a full engine teardown to find out why this was drinking coolant faster than I could pour it into the engine and uh, replacing the cylinder head gasket. And then I've also got an, another uh, video out there as well on how to change the oil on the Bobcat. Now, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Also, I'm just learning. This is uh, one of the first big uh, sort of diesel engines that I've been playing around with and actually doing some more serious mechanical work too. And uh, I'm looking to, you know, basically learn off this to apply to some other projects that I have in the future. If you are a diesel expert or mechanic and have any tips, tricks, or anything like that to share, please leave them in the comments section below. I would love to hear them and love to learn from you. Until next time, we'll see you later.